Hello, welcome to Standard Voice News Channel. I am Samira Ibrahim. Here are your top stories for today. Security agents neutralized a gang of bandits who was stolen a head of over 300 cattle in Zamfara State. The security service warns Nigerians against inciting divisive comments. Military remains loyal to Nigeria's constitution and business. Federal government direct Nexium Bank to increase funding to critical sectors. On international scene, Bill and Melinda gave their voice after 27 years of marriage. On sports, Inyumba ranked dropped West African club. Now the news in details. The Zamfara State Commissioner for Security and Internal Affairs, Al Haji Abu Bakr Mohammed Dawran, had recently led a team of security forces on joint patrol and neutralized a gang of bandits who rustled a head of over 300 cattle at Kuraji, near region Sakardawa in Gusau local government area. After accomplishing the mission, the rustled cattle have been recovered for immediate return to their rightful owners. The state governor, Dr. Bella Mohammed Matawale Maradun, who disclosed this while hosting media organizations to a Ramadan breakfast, appealed to the general public to complement government effort in nipping the menace of banditry in the board by aiding in intelligence gathering, which is crucial in putting an end to criminal activities in the state and the country as a whole. The Zanfor State Government has donated 400 bags of assorted grains to inmates at the Gusau Correctional Center. The state government also does out 170 bags of to the State Council of Chiefs and 300 bags to the State Working Committee of the People's Democratic Party. The donation is part of Gunamatawalis Ramadan and Salah welfare package to the people of the state. The items donated include sugar, maize, rice, millet, and other assorted grains. In a press statement signed by the Director General of Media and Communications, Office of the Governor, Yusuf Idris Kusau, said that the nation is expected to cushion the hardship many are experiencing during the Ramadan fast. Governor Bella Muhammad Matawali of Zamfar State has donated nine Peugeot four horses vehicles to professional media houses and organs in the state to ease their transportation needs. The beneficiaries include the Zamfara State Chapter of the Nigerian Union of Journalists, NUJ, Radio, Television and Theatre at Workers' Union, Retau, and the National Association of Women Journalists, NAWOJ. He also donated similar brand of vehicles to media houses based in the state, as well as the State Chapter of the Nigerian Institute of Public Relations, NIPR. The governor made the donation on Sunday and shortly after he hosted members of the unions to break the Ramadan fast at his residence in Gusau. The governor expressed satisfaction in the way and manner journalists conduct themselves while discharging their professional responsibilities in the state. The State Security Service has cautioned Nigerians against making comments capable of causing disharmony and violence in the country. The warning came as many influential Nigerians have either called for the impeachment or resignation of President Mahmoud Buhari over his poor handling of the nation's affairs. The secret police made this known in a statement signed by its spokesperson, Peter Afunaya, on Sunday evening. Prominent among those that have made the call is controversial cleric and spiritual director of Adoration Ministry, Ejike Umbaka. The cleric, who was an ardent supporter of the president on Thursday, called on the National Assembly to impeach President Mohammed Buhari if he fails to resign over increased insecurity in the country. Mr. Mbaka made the call during a recent church service where he lamented the way the country was being run. As the world celebrates third May to honor journalists and media houses, the Nigerian Union of Journalists Katsina State Chapter congratulates journalists in the country. In a press release signed by the chairman of the union, Tukur Hassan Dan Ali, it acknowledged the good working relationship with all security agencies and organs of government in the state. The council commends the state government for its friendly disposition and support to journalists to practice their profession.
freely. The union called on both the private and public media houses in the country to improve the welfare package of journalists, considering the risks involved in covering crises and pandemics. It enjoined journalists to continue to be law-abiding and practice journalism in a way that promotes peace and development at all levels. The military is restating its commitment to the Nigerian constitution with a promise that it will remain apolitical and loyal to the civil authority and the president who is the commander-in-chief of the armed forces. Brigadier General Onyema Mwachuku, who is the acting director of defense information, made the pledge on behalf of the military in a statement on Monday. The pledge of loyalty followed a comment by a senior advocate of Nigeria, Mr. Robert Clark, which the military said suggested that the current political leadership should hand over power to it for the purpose of restructuring. While distancing itself from the comment, the military pledged that it will continue to discharge its constitutional responsibilities professionally, especially in protecting the country's democracy, defense of its territorial integrity, as well as protecting the lives and property of the citizens. The federal government has approved June 30 as new deadline for the national identification numbers linkage with the subscriber's identity model cards. The government also said so far 54 million Nigerians have obtained their NIN, translating to over 190 million mobile numbers. The government's decision was contained in a statement jointly signed by the Director of Public Affairs of the Nigerian Communications Commission, Dr. Ikechuku Adende, and Head of Corporate Communication of the National Identification Management Commission, Mr. Kayode Adewuki. The statement said the postponement of the deadline was also based on the request by stakeholders for an extension till 30th of June in order to make it easier for all citizens and legal residents to register. The Zamfara State Governor, Dr. Bello Mohamed Matawalem Maradin, along with his Sokoto State counterpart, Right Honorable Amin Waziri Tambuwal, condoled with Emir of Kanu, Al Haji Aminu Adu Bayeru, over the death of his mother, Haji Mariam Adu Bayeru, my Babanda Ken Kanu. Governor Matawale said he was shocked when he received the sad news of the passing away of Hajia Mariam Adu Bayeru and prayed for the repose of her departed soul and make Al Jannah Fiddaus her final abode. He described her death as a monumental loss to the entire country, considering the motherly role she played in the upbringing of many children, especially the vulnerable ones. The governor also urged the royal father to bear the loss as he believed the disease is resting in peace. Responding on behalf of the deceased family, the Emir of Kanu Al Haj Amin Adu Bayeru thanked the visiting governors for the love and concern shown to the people of Kanu Emirates Council. On business. The federal government has mandated the Nigerian Export Import Bank to increase its funding to critical sectors in the country. Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Mrs. Zainab Ahmad, gave the directive in Abuja while inaugurating the two new non executive directors of NEXIM, Malin Kabir Hassan and Mr. Edeo Dafinoni. She urged NEXIM management to increase funding to boost productivity and exports in agriculture, manufacturing, and services. The finance minister also urged NEXIM to promote private sector investment in maritime logistics infrastructure. According to her, the main objective of NEXIM is to be a significant player in the non-oil export sector and in the revitalization programs such as the Economy Recovery and Growth Program. On international scene. <laughs> Bill and Melinda Gates have announced their divorce after 27 years of marriage, saying they no longer believe they can grow together as a couple. After a great deal of thoughts and a lot of work on their relationship, they have made the decision to end their marriage. They first met in the 1980s when Melinda joined Bill's Microsoft firm. 
the billionaire couple have three children and jointly run the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. The organization has spent billions fighting causes such as infectious diseases and encouraging vaccinations in children. According to Pulse, Bill Gates is the fourth wealthiest person in the world and is worth $124 billion, which is equivalent to 89 billion euros. The pair both posted the statement announcing their divorce on Twitter. On sports, over to Abu Sofyan Abbakar. Hello, welcome to Standard Voice Television Sports Room. I'm Abu Sofyan Abbakar, and as usual, I bring the sports updates. Embo moved up four spots on the 12th place in the latest Confederation Cup of African Football Club rankings for 2021. The two-time CAF Champions League winners and Nigeria's sole campaigners on the continent in the CAF Confederation Cup are the country's only club in the top 30 list on the continent. The People's Elephants, who are 16th in the previous ranking, have seen their stock rise as a result of their impressive performance on the continent, which has seen them qualify for the quarterfinals of the CAF Confederation Cup. The Abba sadly frogged notable sides such as Egypt's Pyramid FC and Congo's AS Vita Club to their new position. And that's all we have on Sports Today. Back to the newsroom. Thank you, Sofian. That has been the news from Standard West Television. To end the news, a recap of the major headlines. Security agents neutralized a gang of bandits who rusted a head of over 300 cattle in Zamfara State. State Security Service warns Nigerians against inciting divisive comments. Military remains loyal to Nigeria's constitution. On business, federal government direct Nelson Bank to increase funding to critical sectors. On international scene, Bill and Melinda Gates divorced after 27 years of marriage. On sports, Inyumba ranked 12th best African club. That's the news on behalf of the production crew, head of news and current affairs department, Ibrahim Gravatina. I am Samira Ibrahim. Thanks for watching and Ramadan Mubarak. Mm -hmm.